Oh, good afternoon. It's nice to be with you. My name's Andrew Spinks, and I'm the Managing Director of Ecograph Limited. It's nice to be able to present an overview of our business today with you. Uh, we've been focused on battery uh, anode materials for the last nine years. We've spent $35 million developing a diversified HF-free battery anode materials businesses. We've got three core uh, separated businesses. Uh, starting on the right-hand side, we've got a natural flake graphite project in East Africa, Tanzania, where we're <clears throat> planning to produce uh, 60,000 tonnes of natural flake graphite. It's an advanced project. We've got strong uh, European customer support for industrial uh, uses of this material. We're going through a debt financing uh, process with KFW IPEX uh, Bank, which is Germany's largest state-owned bank. On the right-hand side, we've developed our own battery anode materials uh, business to manufacture spherical, purified spherical graphite, utilising our own purification uh, processing technology that eliminates uh, hydrofluoric acid. And as most of you are aware, all of the world's uh, uh, battery graphite comes from China using HF. We've recently um, uh, taken that purification process and applying it to the recovery of carbon anode uh, material from lithium ion battery recycling, which is really an exciting early stage project. I will cover off during my presentation, uh, these three core businesses um, through the slide presentation and look forward to any questions after the, the presentation. I guess the important aspect of our businesses, three core businesses, they're all standalone and separated and we've focused on markets on an ex-China basis, uh, particularly uh, Europe and Northeast Asia. As I mentioned there, the battery anode materials business um, and our Tanzanian graphite project are development ready uh, to produce uh, production quantities that are matched to market demand. And I guess that's really the exciting aspect our development is focused on today's demand and both these developments um, in Tanzania and our downstream development are scalable and flexible, and we expect to uh, rapidly uh, increase both those productions as demand increases. And on the right-hand side, um, we've got our recycling business, which is relatively early stage, but the results have been really, really exciting uh, for us. We're an Australian listed company on the ASX. We also trade in on the European market on the on the Frankfurt, and we've re recently also uh, listed on the OTC QX. We've got quite a strong balance sheet. We've got uh, 52 million in the bank. We've got a market cap of around 330 um, million. We've got really strong long shareholders um, uh, supported that are supporting the, the development. And we've also got a very strong board and management team that we've been expanding with, with the development of, of our project. Our focus is, is to commence our downstream uh, to produce purified spherical graphite in Australia. And I'll go through that, uh, uh, those, uh, that business shortly. We also see enormous demand in, in Europe and the raw materials shifting out of Asia into Europe. And we're positioning to uh, look at a second, second facility in, 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 in Europe. But we also like uh, what's happening in India and the US as these global supply chains uh, are localizing and regionalizing their uh, downstream manufacturing. Our business has been very focused on strong ESG, and um, but I guess what's been really pleasing over the last 12 to 18 months is the policy regulations coming out of the European Union, um, particularly on responsible sourcing of raw materials, traceability, traceability of raw materials and recycling. And I think our three core businesses fit these, these new uh, legislation policies, you know, really well. And, and it's something that we've been focused on very beginning, you know, nine years ago, we set about developing a, an eco-friendly uh, alternate supply of battery graphite. Our first facility, as I mentioned, is going to be located in West Australia. For those that don't know, West Australia, it's a massive um, uh, location for battery and critical minerals. And we see Quinana 
and Rockingham as a major location for downstream manufacturing and one of the reasons for locating our first facility here. Uh, we've got a 6.7 hectare site that we're working on uh, putting our first facility um, in West, Western Australia. We're very advanced. Uh, we've been uh, working on supporting the uh, the financing process that we're we're seeking through the support of the federal government through Export Finance Australia. And we've received a letter of support support uh, support of thirty five million dollars on the expansion of this facility from the initial five thousand tons to twenty thousand tons, and um, that's been really strong federal government support from from the government. We've also received major project status and lead agency project status from, from the state government. We're working with GR Engineering, completing all the pre-construction works and uh, the detailed engineering design and the final equipment selection. And we're finally finalizing the EPC um, uh, uh, required pr procurement. Um, we've completed significant value engineering over, the, over this year and we're implementing a, a zero waste operating strategy for this site, um, which is really in, in, in keeping with the, the new age demand of raw materials for this emerging sector. We're finalizing all the re regulatory approvals and permitting, and uh, we're getting uh, very close to being able to finalize all that material. And we look forward to providing a significant update when all this comes together. We expect construction will take 11 months uh, it'll employ uh, approximately about 275 construction workers and 75 full full time workers. Uh, as I mentioned, we're very focused on uh, the, the sustainability of our, our uh, developments, and we've uh, implemented a zero operating waste strategy. Uh, we've got three core uh, value adding uh, uh, product developments: uh, Super BAM which is an enhanced, high density, very fine uh, material that uh, uh, we see as a significant value add for the, the material that remains as a byproduct. To produce uh, spherical graphite, we end up with, with around 50% of fines. So we're value adding these, these fines. We've been working on a new product called Green, green Recarb, which is a carbon additive. Uh, for the steel manufacturing. And we see that uh, as industries adopt low carbon emissions, you know, new sources of raw materials will need to be uh, looked at. And we're very keen on working with potential partners to evaluate this green recarb as an alternate to the coke uh, and um, coke carbon additives in the steel manufacturing. And we've got e e EcoChem, which is a cathode enhanced material uh, as a um, uh, evaluated product looked at in uh, alkaline batteries. So we have quite a significant uh, development program running in parallel with, with the, the development of our West Australian site. We also see the growth um, in, in Europe is, is significant and we're working in three key areas. Uh, Sweden, where we've secured a, a site to evaluate um, locating our second facility. Germany, we've been working with German Trade and Invest, uh, evaluating uh, five sites for locating our downstream, uh, downstream, a second downstream manufacturing facility, and also France, where we're really interested in uh, uh, co-locating within France. And I guess, you know, to operate in these areas, we need collaboration. Graphite is an integral part of the lithium ion battery chain. We provide a clear alternate, clean green alternate to the existing Chinese supply, but to locate in these European uh, facilities, being an Australian company with an East African operation, uh, collaboration and partnership is really critical to us to look at uh, co-locating uh, overseas. Quick overview of our East African Tanzanian operation. This is something that we've been working on for a significant uh, number of years. Uh, we've completed an enormous amount of, of technical work, uh, bankable feasibility study. We've undertaken independent engineers review 
um, through by the appointment uh, of KFW IPEX. Um, and most importantly, the I guess the development of this project has been done to meet equator principle standard, which is really critical now to this traceability and and source of uh, of raw raw materials. Our development is very scalable. We start off with 60,000 tonnes uh, and we believe we can scale this up to multiple times more. This is a deposit, has a huge deposit of endowment in East Africa, Tanzania. And, uh, uh, but this is about 10% of the mark, which we, we think is about right to commence a, uh, the initial mining operation. The financials and capital investment are shown below and the, the debt financing process that we're pursuing is um, around um, 60, 60 US million to support that initial uh, development. The mine, the development of the mine will provide a, a very clear mine to market ESG supply chain assurance. And, and I think that's what really is unique to our, uh, uh, our vertically integrated business that we have the original source. Uh, this is a very uh, nice graphite um, um, and one of the best undeveloped graphite projects with the highest quality of graphite that you can, uh, that we've benchmarked with, with, with others. The battery recycling uh, business, uh, this is something that we've been uh, working on for the last uh, 18 months. At the moment, all the recycling is focused on the cathode, uh, the cathode minerals, and we're focusing on recovering the carbon anode material, which is really uh, an exciting uh, opportunity. And we've broken it into two areas that we see production scrap um, and black mass after hydrometallurgical uh, processes after end of life batteries. We see that uh, recovering the carbon anode material can, can contribute significantly to potentially lowering the, the unit cost, but also lowering carbon emissions, recycling this material back in. And the results that we've achieved has been quite, um, quite significant. We've achieved greater than the battery grade specification for produ production scrap. And we believe that um, focusing on the production scrap um, is the, uh, the first uh, area of focus for, for, our, for our company. We're working with a number of groups. We've developed a, a strategy, a very clear strategy to pick up the production scrap uh, through the battery manufacturing and uh, uh, contributing to putting this back into the battery. But we need to collaborate with partners. This is something that uh, we can't do ourselves. We can purify the material and work with potential customers to put this back in, into the battery. And that's uh, the core focus. Where we, we bring in significant experience on the graphite side where we can see reuse of this material, picking this material up and reusing it in natural and synthetic markets. What we're recovering is the carbon anode, which is a composition of natural, synthetic and carbon black. So it's a new product. And uh, we've definitely been able to recover, uh, purify it and, and achieve high purity that uh, meet these carbon grade uh, market specifications. So we're quite excited about developing um, uh, generating more more material for product qualification and that's where we're at it to date on the recycling side we're just completed an engineering design around uh, developing a pilot plant to uh, recover larger volumes of material for the important quali product qualification both in the battery production scrap uh, working with battery manufacturers but also uh, generating enough samples for product qualification in these traditional industries. The capex for the for the the, the uh, build of the plant is quite modest at 5.8 million um, Australian, and uh, we've designed the plant really a state of the art uh, plant, mobile, modular. Uh, ideally, can be located overseas. Uh, we're planning to locate it in here in West Australia, but depending on who we uh, work with. We're very open to locating this overseas and, uh, and collaborating with potential partners. It's self-contained and the, the facility self-contained with offices um, 
uh, uh, control rooms and uh, uh, will be very, um, will be very be able to treat a number of sources of gra graphite uh, uh, recycled material sources. So the company has significant uh, growth opportunities with, with those three core, core businesses and just running quickly through them around our battery anode materials business, uh, looking at our first plant in Australia, expanding in, into Europe and then uh, other locations as demand uh, uh, grow. We see product development and innovation critical to our development and future looking out five to 10 years. Um, so we've got a strong product development program underway. We also see um, enhancement, uh, product enhancement opportunities. And we've just announced um, high purity alumina coatings as a potential enhancement on coatings. And uh, uh, we've got a partner, uh, in Australia, that's partnering, potentially partnering with Al Alcoa, uh, which is one of the largest uh, alumina uh, manufacturers here in, in Australia. We also see our natural flake graphite project in East Africa scaling up and meeting uh, expanded demand in, in the future. And also, uh, as we've just gone through, our lithium ion recycling, uh, our ability to um, uh, recover carbon anode material and locate these these facilities uh, overseas within the, the supply line. And also blending. Blending is a major uh, opportunity uh, for our company. This slide gives an, uh, uh, an overview of, just a, a ver of our vertically integra integrated uh, product flow with our uh, Tanzanian mine uh, that will operate at IFC standards feeding into the downstream facility with other sources of graphite. Um, that we've qualified from uh, existing producers into our downstream to produce purified uh, SPG and also uh, uh, super band material that goes into our lithium ion, that goes into the lithium ion uh, battery manufacturing. And uh, then that's where our recycling um, plant would sit and support the closed loop recycling and circular economy by picking up the production scrap and putting it back in into the battery. So it's a very exciting opportunity time and um, uh, we look forward to any questions um, in the Q&A session. Uh, and if there, anybody wants any further information on our, our company, uh, please visit our website, www.ecograph.com.au. Thanks very much for your time and uh, yeah, hope you have a great conference.